Question four says, using crotchets, write one octave ascending of the melodic minor scale, so we probably underline all these, melodic minor scale that begins on the given note. Do not use a key signature, but write in all the necessary accidentals. Okay, so we are looking for a scale of B flat, melodic minor, so the first thing we need to work out is what is the relative major of B flat melodic minor. And the way we do that, of course, is just count up three semitones from B flat, and that will give us our relative major, which will give us a good idea uh, as to the sorts of flats that we're going to need in this scale. So we've got B flat, upper semitone is B, that's one, up another semitone is C, that's two, up another semitone uh, is D flat and that is 3. So the relative major of B flat minor is D flat major. And hopefully, knowing the circle of fifths or any other way you might have learnt this, D flat major has five flats in the key signature B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. So we're going to need to use a lot of flats here in this particular scale. So probably what I would do first is just get uh, one of every note into the scale because every single major or minor scale has one of every letter name note in oops that should be an F so we've, we know we've gone wrong if we've got two A's or two B's <clears throat> or two G's in the scale that's definitely gone wrong somewhere if we find that so hopefully we won't find that and the way I've avoided finding that in fact is to start by writing in one of every single letter and one flat that we know we're going to need is this one here so we know we're going to need to have the B flat because this is a B flat minor scale and then we're going to need to <clears throat> put in the other flats that we need so this scale has as I said B flat E flat A flat D flat and G flat because it takes its flats from the key signature of the, re the relative major, which is D-flat major. So let's just try and get in some of these. Uh, we're going to need a D-flat. We're not going to need a C-flat, so that's fine. We are going to need an E-flat. We are going to need a G-flat. And we are going to need an A-flat. So this is just following the, so the key signature. But this is not the whole story, of course, with the minor scales, and particularly these slightly different flavours of minor scale. In the melodic minor scale, what we do is we raise the 6th and 7th notes of the scale on the way up and we flatten them again on the way down. Now fortunately here we're just being asked for the scale on the way up so we don't need to worry about doing anything to those notes on the way down. However, we do need to do something with these two notes here. This G flat and this A flat need to be raised by a semitone. Now in fact it's really really easy to raise a G flat and an A flat by a semitone. All I do is just hit the undo button um, and I've changed this G flat and A flat into a G natural and an A natural. And what you'll find is that that will sort of do what we need to make this scale, the melodic minor scale. Uh, we'll raise the sixth and seventh notes from a G flat and an A flat to a G natural and an A natural. And that should sound just like our melodic minor scale. And I think that is basically right. That's, you know, that's what B flat melodic minor looks like and I've done one octave ascending, and I've not used the key signature, but I've written in the various flats that I need to write in to make this scale work. So that part of the question, I think, is done. And all we have to do for the second one, ah, oh, easy. Put accidentals in front of the notes that need them to form a scale of E major descending. So fortunately, major scales are much more straightforward than minor scales often. All we need to do here is just work out what the key signature would be. Um, if we were to do our little circle of fifths, just as a, as a demo to prove this thing works, uh, going around the circle. If you don't know what a circle of fifths is, for goodness sake, go and learn it right away. Um, so here's our circle of fifths. It starts this way anyway. Uh, C major is a scale with one sharp. Sorry, it's no sharps, no sharps. C major is a scale with no sharps or flats. G major is a scale with one sharp. D major is a scale with two sharps. A major is the scale with three sharps, and E major is the scale with four sharps. And so we're going to need to use four sharps here in this scale and get rid of all that now. And the order of the sharps goes 
Um, well, I like to remember it, and particularly at this time of year, it is the 30th of December today that I'm making this. Um, Father Christmas goes down and empties bag. And he did. I got a rather nice pair of socks uh, for Christmas and lots of t-shirts. It seems that people think I need clothes. What can I say? Anyway, um, for this particular scale, we need four sharps. And so these sharps are going to be F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. So if we whack those sharps into this scale, I think we're done with this question. And we will not need to write any more scales for a while. So we definitely need a D sharp. We need a C sharp. Bear in mind this is the bass clef, so we have to make sure we read the notes correctly. And um, this is a C um, sharp. This is a G sharp, so we want one of them. Don't really want an A sharp. We do want a G sharp. We do want an F sharp. And there's our E. So this is, to my eyes, an E major scale descending with an octave uh, distance and uh, four sharps written in there to create the sound of E major. So I'm pretty happy with that. That to me looks like E major. So that, I think, is the end of question four. I'll see you in question five.